Hey guys, this is the CEO computer, and today I'm actually going to be using my voice for once to actually take you through this, um, well, let's just say you know by the title of the video. How to remove XP anti spyware 2012. Now, this is a pretty tough one. So, here's what you're first gonna wanna do you're gonna, you're gonna go to my computer, and then you're gonna go to tool folder options view and then right over here I want you to click I want you to uncheck the box that has a check check in it that says hide extensions for known file type so uncheck that click apply and okay now what you're gonna want to do is ignore everything and X out as much as you can um you know of the windows XP antispiver 2012 brings up so now we're gonna get to the basics. Now first you're gonna wanna do is when you're in my computer, local disk, go to your hard drive. And then now what you're gonna wanna do is go to program files, internet explorer, and then over here you'll see a file named iExplorer.exe. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and copy it, then you're gonna paste it. Once you've pasted it, I want you to click, uh, right click and re click rename. So all I want you to do is rename the end, the exe part to scr. So click yes, you want to change it. Now if you don't make a copy, then it could mess up all of your internet explorer. So it's best you make a copy of this file. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is open it. Now this guy right here will want to try to block it, but you're just going to X the window and it will open. So this is infected, it's hijacked, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to my anti spyware slash mbam. M. Okay. But I forgot the dot com part. Okay. So my antispyware.com slash MVAM. So now you're gonna go there. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to download a file. Click save. And again, you're gonna take the dot e exe part of the name and you're gonna name it to SCR. So click save, and now click open, exile all the windows you have, now click ok, select your language. Now you're install. You're about to install an antivirus that is about to erase this anti-spyware thingy. Ok, so let's, I accept the agreement, I don't want to read that. So you just install it from here, install it, yes, create a desktop icon, up to you. Okay, now it only takes like a second just to install. Okay, now from here you want to make sure these two boxes are checked. Update Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and Launch Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. If these two aren't checked, then you, you have to reinstall it again to get past this virus. Okay, so these two are checked, so now I'm going to click finish. So now we're just going to let it update itself, it's virus definitions and database. So now we're going to, now the program is going to open up and we're going to do a full scan here. Okay, so now I want you to click perform full scan. And make sure that box is checked and click scan now check everything just in case if your anything else is any USB flash drive CD drive is infected so scan and now I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible when this is over well anyway you won't know okay so now that the scan is over after three minutes, I found seven viruses. So you click OK. Now that the scan's complete, 
click show results. And now here are all the viruses in all in all in your computer that you got. All your registry viruses, memory, and file. Now everything should be fine. Make sure everything is checked in here. If everything is not checked, then your computer could be you could um be stuck on infected. Okay. So now when everything is checked, you're done looking at this, but nobody cares or bothers to. But anyway, click remove selected, and now in less than a few seconds, depending on how many viruses you got, um, it'll be done. Mine's is done now, so now just restart your computer and enjoy it as a clean one. This was the CEO computer. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe on Computing Friends channel. So, either way, comment, rate, and don't forget to subscribe.